Hello friends, welcome back. So today we're going to serve static assets. An HTML server usually has one or more directories that are accessibly, accessible by the user. You can place there the static assets needed for your application. Things like style sheets, CSS, scripts, JSS, JS, and then images like JPEGs or a PNG files. In Express, you can put in place this functionality using the middleware express.static and then path where the path parameter is the absolute path of the folder containing the assets. If you don't know what middleware is, don't worry, we will discuss it later in detail. Basically, middleware are functions that intercept route handlers adding some kind of information. A middleware needs to be mounted using the method app.use, and then you say path, and then you say the middleware function. The first path argument is optional. If you don't pass it, the middleware will be executed for all requests. So we want to mount express.static. Okay, so let's go back over to JS so we can think about this. <clears throat> express. This is where we have express, right? We're setting this variable express is equal to require express. And so in between here, we're saying put something into express. So express.static middleware for all requests that use app.use. The absolute path to the assets folder is dear name underscore public underscore forward slash public. Now your app should be able to serve the CSS from outside the public folder. So we'll know when this is complete when we're serving the CSS. And um, actually from the first lesson, we still have some commented out here, but this is basically the uh, what we're going to use. So it says we want to say um, app.use, so app.use, and then forward slash public. This is just for the public routes, I suppose express.static and then process command w okay so this isn't exactly how we want to go so we're going to just start from scratch app.use <clears throat> um, and then the path and the middleware function in express you can place this functionally using the middleware express.static and then the path express.static and then the path and then so we're going to say add the, our path is going to be here. Uh, we know that our path is going to be the dir name, right? So underscore, underscore, dir name. And we're going to say, we're going to add inside of there forward slash public. So app.use. App.use. Now the, path, the first path is an argument is optional. If you don't pass it in, middleware will be executed for all requests. Well, what do we have in this public thing? We just have the style sheet. And so for now, it doesn't really make sense for us to not just use the style sheet for all the uh, pages on the application. And so this should work. So I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say npm start. Or we could say uh, node server.js. It doesn't matter. Both of them just start our server. It runs this file. And if we refresh the page here, we don't have our CSS here, so that tells me something's wrong. Uh, now your app should, um, one time, sometimes you can look in the console to see for things here. It failed to reload a, uh, a resource. The server responded with a status of 404 to the style sheet. Okay, so that's telling us that the style sheet did not come in. Okay, so maybe the p problem is that, the p that, that we need the path to the resource. So in what we're trying to add is the style CSS. Maybe what we need to do is say, style.css and now if we save this and we refresh the page it still doesn't work I wonder if we have to start the server over still doesn't work okay so that's not working for us huh forward slash public app.use forward slash public so maybe, I'm guessing what we have to do, okay, I'm gonna add this back in here. Forward slash public. Okay, so now we've set up the middleware, and so now we wanna set up to use the specific um, path. So app.use, uh, public, and then we're going to add the middleware, the express.static, Dir name forward slash public. Okay, so now if I save this, 
um, I, this isn't going to work, I need to reset the server. So I come over here and press Control C to stop the server. And then I'm going to run npm start, node package manager start. We're starting the server again. We refresh the page here, and now we have our CSS in here. And if we're in the console, we've got no errors. Okay, so this is a good sign. Um, so yeah, this looks like it's working. So now we should be able to cancel out of here and go get status. Uh, the server has changed, so we can git add. Add the changes to the server, git commit-m, and then say um, add static middleware um, for assets. And now that we've committed that change, we want to push it. Git push, we want to push it to our Heroku uh, production server, and we want to say um, head master. Okay, so this is going to push our local changes to our Heroku app. And so, yeah, we're just looking here and we're watching. Now we should be seeing the... Okay, it's been a while since I did this, so sometimes you have to click the logs again because sometimes it'll just stop serving you. Uh, so I'll just click out of there and view the logs. And we'll see. Okay. It's started up again, and we've got our double hello worlds in there, which shows us wh where we are. And then if we click over here, we can see that we're serving the, H the CSS. And so if we come over here and run the things, we can see, cool, it passed. Um, one thing I noticed, though, we were, want to be using this myapp.js file. So here they say get your server working. We've got that working, but we did it here. And so I want to know if we could just get this working well, yeah, they say, so, yeah, mount the logger middleware. I kind of want to do it this way because it looks like they had the intention for us to do it here. So serve an HTML file. Well, could we move? Well, here, I'm going to move my app down to here. And so um, mount the, so here we've got one is, you know, meet the node console. So we're logging here. Um, here we want to serve our first working serve an HTML file. So here we're serving our HTML file. I wonder if we can move this from there to here. And if I save that and I save this, and then I run the node server again, let's see if that works. Okay, so it works locally. So this is actually probably the way that they want us to do this. Um, we're going to be moving some of this stuff over from here. Um, yeah, two, one. Get data from post. Okay, so we're going to leave the listen here. But what we want to do now is we're going to take this where we're adding the static assets, uh, the first working express server, serve static assets. I think what we can do is serve the static assets down here. And then we're using the myapp.js rather than using server. And I, this is actually a really intelligent thing to do. You want to change, you want to put your files into, into the folders, into the file names, which kind of fit them. So because we're starting to make specific changes to this, we can have our files be over here, and that keeps the server uh, file cleaner so that we don't have to adjust it all the time. So now that I've made changes to there, I'm going to command come over here and cancel it. I'm going to run npm start and see if my static issues are still working locally. Okay, cool, that's working. So now we're working in myapp.js, and this is actually helps because our next one, it looks like we're going to serve JSON files. So if we do this, do all of our work in this file, it makes more sense than doing it all in the server file. So I'll move this up to, to here, and everything's saved. I'm going to cancel the server, and I'm going to push my changes. I'm going to push the changes to our production app using git. Git add, git commit, uh, organize application function to my app. Uh, and now I'm going to say git push Heroku head master. And we're just waiting for it to spin up. As you can see, the build was started. So just now we're seeing on the Heroku logs right here, we're logging here. And then on my local machine, it's saying what it's doing to send information to the Heroku servers. It says it sort of succeeded here, and then once it succeeds over here, we, we, we're going to be able to see the Heroku server uh, kick on. So here it says it's build launched, it's restarting the server, it's changing from down to up, 
and it executed the command npm start, which means it started the server, and now it is up. And so if we come back over here and we refresh the page, everything still works after our organization. And if I come over to here, I can paste this into here and we'll see if it passes the test still. It still does, so that's great. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.